Hi guys, I'm Tian Zhongquan with Xinhua News Agency. Now I'm in the central Chinese city of Wuhan. Today I got a good news for you. Beginning on February 27th, citizens can come to the city's economic technology development zone for a test ride in a self-driving taxi developed by Chinese leading car maker Dongfeng Motor Corporation. Today we're glad to have Bian Weiwei with our novel live show. She's a senior engineer with Dongfeng Technical Center and a member of the research and development team. Hi, Bian Weiwei. Hi, Mr. Tan. How are you today? Fine. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, so this is a robot taxi for us to take the test ride today, right? Yeah, yes. All right, let's take a look. From the outside, it's just like an ordinary family car, but there is something like a hat on the car roof. So what is it used for? It is used uh, roof rack to accommodate our sensors, and it will m ensure each sensor the functionality and the performance of it uh, remain unaffected. And uh, in this roof rack, we can see there is a, a 64 light radar in the center. And we also have two color LiDAR with 32 light LiDAR at the side. And uh, around the record, we can see uh, seven cameras inside, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, including two forward-facing cameras and four corner cameras mm -hmm. and also uh, backward camera. So the advanced technology like the LIDARs and cameras, the uh, uh, getting together to enable the car to run smoothly on the road for the passengers, right? Yes. So let's take a look at the inner space of the car. I'll open the door. Okay. All right. It's like, uh, actually, uh, the space is okay. The car can see one, two, three, four, five people, right? Yeah. Okay, I, I, I noticed that there are three screens on uh, uh, one, no, it's one, two, uh, two screens on inside the car. So what is it? Mm, it's a um, ver visualization of the environment perception technologies. For example, uh, the LiDAR can be used as a 3D um, laser scanning of our mm -hmm. surroundings mm -hmm. at 360 degrees mm -hmm. and uh, it's de uh, the maximum detection range is 250 meters mm -hmm. and also it outputs the cloud points mm -hmm. with uh, mm, accuracy up to 200 two meters, two centimeters. Okay, so that's a very broad horizon for the passengers, right? Yeah. And so uh, it's like a, the technology, I mean, the, the LiDAR, the camera, the, the technology can transform into, uh, can be transformed into a visualization performance for the passengers. So there's a, a, a I mean, the first thing for the passengers is how to reserve a robot taxi. Mm, we launched a mobile app and just uh, reserve a robot taxi through this app. It is very easy to operation. And just like only one mm -hmm. um, car healing apps. All right, so uh, it's just like a taxi healing application, right? Yeah. Instead of smartphones, just maybe scan the QR code, it's just we can just uh, reserve one, right? Yeah, yeah. I can't wait to take the test, right? Let's get in the car. Okay. All right, I'll follow you. Uh, well, we're now we're in the car. All right, now we're in the car. Uh, space is good. So, so now we're ready. How to start? How to start the, the robot taxi? Maybe we just uh, press the button. <laughs> All right, press the button. Okay, uh, let's press the button and start the car. Actually, I noticed that uh, there is a person sitting in the driver's seat, and he... So, what, what, what is his main responsibility? 
Oh, the person you are talking is a safety supervisor <laughs> because of regularity requirements and our safety concerns. One safe safety supervisor is needed for each car. His or her main responsibility is to ensure the safety of passengers and he will take the car in case of an emergency. Under normal conditions, he will never handle the car. All right, so, uh, so he will like handle some uh, emergency, right? Yeah. Or, uh, when the car has got some, uh, some problem. Yes. So, uh, so sitting in the car, I feel that uh, there's no difference from the ordinary vehicle. So the programs now is like a trial operation. Actually, how many robot taxis is are deployed in 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 this in this part of the city? Um, this time we provide forty two robot taxis. Forty two robot yeah, taxis. Yeah, right? yeah, forty two, and uh, the cover um, our operation route covering the. What? <laughs> Covering the commercial district with crowded population, such as uh, Wuhan Sports Center Stadium, Liantou Hotel, and Wanda Plaza. There are in total 25 stop points. So actually, there it's like in the very center of the uh, Wuhan's economic and technological development. Uh, Wuhan's economic and uh, technology parts. So now we can see on the screen that uh, there is a green line, you know, in over here so what yeah. is what is used for i mean the green is, is the safety distance right yeah yes this means we are in a safety um, distance with the um, proceeding cars maybe uh, if there are barrels or the low speed cars in front of us mm -hmm. the, this red light will turn to red okay so now we're we're on the uh it's a crossroads. It's a, the, the red light is on. So, so how can a car react before mm, the cross or if there is a red light, a green light or s some other situations? Mm. Autonomous vehicle can connect it with our city public transport systems. And uh, in case of reaching a red light, the vehicle can automatically detect it and understand so that it will strictly obey the traffic rooms. Uh, oh, the taxi is running safely on the road so we don't have to worry about the uh, uh, worry about the, the driving at the traffic rooms. So actually there are many kinds of scenarios when a car runs in a larger metropolis like Wuhan. Uh, there are like straight roads, tunnels, and even traffic jams. So, uh, what will the car react to this kind of situations? Mm. In some places, uh, in some difficult driving scenarios, we always use the HD map uh, cameras, lidars, and uh, inertial measurement unit to mm, do the mm, multi-sensor fusion so that we can get a uh, mm, much uh, much better high accuracy mm, location result so that we can make our robot taxi well running in uh, uh, in the lane mm -hmm. yeah. yeah so now the car is is running oh, all right so there's uh a red lights and a green lights so the car seems to um, actually mm, how 
you know, how many cameras inside the car? I mean, uh, is there any camera on this? The camera inside the car? Yeah, of course. Now we have two cameras equipped on the car, and they are used for observing the inside and outside of the car.、Uh, for example, the road conditions and maybe the inside secre- securities. And they also can record the driving data to optimize、uh, our autonomous driving technologies or the algorithm in the future.、Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, so、uh, is there any 5G technology? I mean, used in the in the robot taxi car? Yes, of course.、Um, we use the 5G technology to enable our V2X. Technology.、Mm-hmm. Uh, that means we,、uh, it can make a very good communication between cars and everything.、Mm, for example, we can get the traffic light informations from VTX.、Mm-hmm. So when it comes to a、uh, traffic jam, I mean, how will our self-driving tax- taxi overcome and、uh, save passengers traveling time? Oh, we.、Uh, Our robot taxi can automatically choose the optimal route、uh, between two、uh, stop points,、mm-hmm. so that we can save in the time. All right, I got it. So if I if in a very if in the early morning I got the、uh, the the taxi, but if there is a traffic jam, so the car can automatically change the route、yeah. to choose.、Uh, Choose the choose choose the shorter one or the better one to for the passengers,、yeah. right? Oh, that's that's good. Well, now the car is like a, a ordinary car running on the road. Actually, there are some、uh, other situations like if other cars jump the queue or、uh, there is a passenger crossing the road. So, how would the robot taxi react? We used the state-of-art AI algorithm, so our robot taxi can quickly ident- identify all kinds of traffic scenarios and deal with any road conditions.、Mm, whether、um, the car jumps the queue and maybe there is some passenger go across、um, the road, is okay. So the car it automatically、uh, turns a very big round. So now the car is getting straight to the to the road, and so I've been watching for a while that、uh, the man sitting in the in the driver's seat. So what about the、um, as you mentioned that there's some the car is connected with the back with the data system. Is there any kind of situation that the The personnel and the、uh, personnel can control the car in a very remote, very remote way. Yes, in some、um, emergency scenarios,、mm-hmm. our back、uh, background system will take over the car to ensure the safety of the passengers.、Mm-hmm. Uh, so there are going to be two options. One is the 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 man sitting in the driver's seat. He can control the car, and the other is that、uh, the personnel can control the car in a remote way, right? Yeah. All right. So now the car is turning right. So actually, today the the weather it's a little bit cloudy.、Um, how can the car accustom to the kind of situations like foggy day? Rainy day or snowy day? There, like the lidar and the camera can、uh, sensor this kind of situation on the road. Because we have、uh, several kinds of the sensors, we always have the backup of each sensor for、uh, for for each direction. We have two two three like、uh, two two three kinds of sensors. The、uh, Lida, the camera. So, c- could you just tell、uh, some introduce something about the future plan of the Dongfeng Motor Corporation? I mean, especially the self-driving taxis. 
Okay, in two to three, in the next two to three years, we will um, in total uh, provide provide uh, over two hundred robot taxis. Mm -hmm. So that will be like two hundred. All right. As for now, the self-driving taxis, the technology is still developing. That there are some uh, now that um, we have to use some technology to control the car. But in the future, we 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 look forward a broad future for the self-driving taxis. We have got of the taxi. Self-driving technology is evolving. In the next few years, Dongfu Motor Corporation will put over 200 self-driving taxis in Wuhan. It will promote the development of driverless driving and smart city through a large-scale operation. We look forward to a bright future of the driverless driving. Bye-bye.